Today is travel day to South Padre Island. It was like, it was snowing moths. It was the weirdest thing. You guys got good stories. So let you guys know, please look around, make sure you have everything with you. Bit to ein bit. Yeah, this is not a sunshine key type situation. Remember that, honey? like a dowel almost, you, you pop it in to get the ball started and then pull the, the ram around to drive it in. We just finished our tour of the Alamo. Very cool. This was your second time here? Second time here. The first time I was here was during basic training i don't remember when there was some at some point during basic training we could get out in our dress blues and hit the town so 1985 i think was been the last time i was here i'm sure it's changed, changed a little quite a lot i don't remember yeah. much about it it's but, very uh, cold did you know that alamo means cottonwood i did not yes. know that well they think that it means cottonwood because there's a there was a grove of cottonwood trees nearby and just kind of associated the two, I think. I don't know if it's an actual translation. Bit to ein bit. So first bit burger, I, I may have had one through the years. So we left Germany, but um, yeah, Bitburger was the beer of choice when we were stationed at Bitburg Air Force Base, or Bitburg Air Base, rather. And so this is pretty cold, but Bitburger is actually a bit better, no pun intended, when it's a little warmer. We're at the Riverwalk in San Antonio. Yes, we are. Heard tons about this place. Comes a boat now.
believe it's angled here a little bit, so it looks like it's coming down the river. I got wow. It. Guys got good stories. Guess what today is? Today is travel day to South Padre Island, and it also happens to be our 34th anniversary, mm -hmm. marriage anniversary. Yes. So there's that. There's that. Ooh. are so bad we drove through swarms of moths it was like it was snowing moths it was the weirdest thing and we had to stop because it was getting difficult to see especially as the Sun was coming out Like 
this is the first time our destiny calls not leaving this incomplete won't you lay it on me turn the page and burn it okay so check this out we finally got to our RV park here in South Padre Island from just outside of San Antonio, Elmendorf uh, at Bronig Lake RV Park, about 275, 280 miles, something like that. So we had to stop twice to clean the windshield. We have a double windshield. We had to stop twice, once about every 100 miles to clean the windshield. This time of year in that whole area and that whole stretch, they have an invasion of cut worm moths, millions and millions and millions. We travel for uh, a couple of hours, hour, hour and a half, and the whole windshield would be, would be plastered. So we had to clean it, and uh, here's kind of what it did to the front of the rig. Now, any of you guys know who, who travel through you know, bug prone areas, you know what that does to the front of your truck your fifth wheel in our case a class a so check this out so i hope you can really see the front of the, of the coach here just plastered thousands and thousands of bug hits and it's pretty typical i mean this is nothing new it's not shocking to anyone i'm sure but i just kind of want to show you how i clean this up one thing you want to make sure of especially since we're here in the texas sun and the heat that you get these things off pretty quick because if not they're going to bake right into your paint and not to mention the fact that uh, you know these bug guts can be kind of acidic so they can etch the paint as well so here's what i do to get these things off how i normally get the, you know the bugs off the front of our rig is i just use a normal uh, vehicle automotive soap and wash and wax sort of product I don't really have a, a particular kind, uh, except uh, I found that one of the, the favorites that I have, because I don't want to have to dry this thing by hand, I use a, uh, a soap that has a, a, a property in it that helps sheet off the water, and that, that way you don't have to towel dry it. But what I typically do is I just go through, wash it, and I use one of these little scratch pads. Not really a scratch pad, it's just a uh, you know, fabric type pad. And that does a pretty good job of getting this stuff off pretty quickly. And then what I'll do is I'll follow up with Griot's Garage uh, Bug Barricade. And once everything's clean and dry, you basically just mist this on and, and wipe it down. And you'll see a, a slight film on the front of the coach. That's normal. Uh, you don't want to do that on the glass, but only on the painted surfaces. And the next time you get bug splatter, it, it comes off really, really easy. Basically, just washes right off. So that's what I normally do. What I'm going to do today is something different. I've never tried before. I've heard a lot of people use it. Uh, and that is a fabric softener sheet. So basically, you're just going to wet down the front of the coach, wrap one of the fabric softener sheets in my pad that I normally use, and just go through and see what that does. Start at the top and work my way down. So let's get to it. Okay, here's the deal. Do not like using dryer sheets. Just too small, they wad up too quickly and easily and they're just a pain. I'd rather stick to my little yellow scrubby pad and do it that way along with my uh, typical car wash brush, long bristle brush, wash it down that way and then take the little scrubby to scrub off any remnants. Um, and then use the Griot's Garage Bug Barricade to uh, protect the front of the coach. So that is what I'm going to do. So, that took about 15 to 20 minutes to clean the entire front of the coach. 
Now, truth be told, the last time I washed the coach, I did forget to spray the bug barricade on after uh, everything was clean and dry. So I probably took five, at least 10, maybe a little bit longer minutes to uh, clean the bugs off without having this on there. So I'm done for today. This was a quite, uh, quite tiring here in the Texas sun and South Texas here. So I am going to let the front of the coach dry, come back tomorrow, put the bug barricade on, and we should be good for at least until I have another wash or two. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't. A little bit breathless. My thoughts are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest.